Okay, in this video we're going to talk about meso compounds. These compounds confuse a lot of students, so hopefully this video is going to help you understand what they are. So, first of all, you can define meso compounds as an optically inactive member of a set of stereoisomers. That means when you're looking at meso compounds and comparing it with other stereoisomers, they're going to have the same atomic connectivity, but the atoms are arranged differently in space. And the meso compound will not exhibit any optical activity, meaning that it does not rotate plane polarized light. And you can explain this when you consider the structure of meso compounds. They have to have chiral centers and they have to have an internal plane of symmetry. One of the consequences of this is that you essentially end up with enantiomers that are fused together. Because if you have a plane of symmetry, on one side you have one enantiomer, and on the other side you have another enantiomer, and they have equal and opposite optical activity, which is why when you fuse the two together to form a single meso compound, you don't have any optical activity. So let's take a look at an example. I've got three molecules here, and you can see that these molecules have two chiral centers. All right, essentially at carbon 2 and carbon 4 in the chain. And you recall in a previous video, if you have two chiral centers, then it's possible for you to have up to four possible stereoisomers. In this case, there are only three. The reason why there's only three is because these two, you can see, they are mirror images of each other. These two are enantiomers. If you look at this molecule on the bottom, it certainly is different because instead of one wedge and one dash, it has two wedges. If you were to try to draw another molecule that has dashes at both of the bromines, then you would recognize that if you flip the molecule, it would be the identical to this one right here. So that's why we don't have four stereoisomers because you get one identical compound. And part of the reason why there's an identical compound is because this molecule right here is a meso compound. All right, so this compound is the meso compound. And we can tell that it's meso because number one, it has a plane of symmetry right down the middle. All right, so the left side of the molecule is identical to the right side of the molecule. And if you were to look at the absolute configurations, you would see that one chiral center would be R and the other one would be S. Again, it's like a fused pair of enantiomers. Their absolute configurations cancel out, so this compound as a whole does not have optical activity. Now, when you compare this stereoisomer with the other members of the same set, you'll see that they have different absolute configurations that aren't the exact opposite, which explains why, as I mentioned earlier, that meso compounds are an optically inactive member of this set, and with other members, it's diastereomers. So that's also why in a previous video, when we were talking about the different types of diastereomers, we included meso compounds on the list.